Center card, deceptive energy, seven of swords, something happening in the dark. And you could have just caught wind of it. This could be information and set that's come your way and you're trying to find out the truth here about something important to you. But something's happening in the shadows that you're, and you could be up to it yourself because she's actually the one who's sneaking around, honestly. And she's kind of uh, watching out for, for getting caught. Try not to get caught here is also the energy. So otherwise you got lies, deception as your focus. Three of Wands, Tower, and the Queen of Pentacles. You're anticipating something major happening. Maybe you need to express yourself about a situation. I think you're doing that towards a person. This is the Queen of Pentacles. You could be expecting that from them as well. It's like you're, you're looking forward to a fallout or a breakdown happening. So it's not like the tower here, I feel, is a surprise. We'll get more information. On the love side, we have, there's something, this is the Nine of Cups with the Five of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. There's a wish here, a strong desire, but it's not being fulfilled with this Five of Cups. You feel dissatisfied. She has a sad look on her face. None of the cups are spilled and they're actually equally filled up, but she is just not feeling it. She's not happy with what she has or where she is. And so this is emotional dissatisfaction that's coming through. But she's trying to make peace with it. That's whether you're male or female. You could be trying to find balance in the situation as well. In this case, the scales are tipped over to one side but she's trying to figure it out even this side is imbalanced and she's trying to get it to a point where those scales are even again but you could be worried that you don't know how to do that or you won't be able to do that she's also not in the best scenario with all these rats around her <laughs> it's not exactly the place you want to be so you may feel like Again, you wish the situation was a lot better than it is and you don't necessarily know how to get it back to a good place. Seven of Swords. Some of you could be focused on a secret romantic affair here. This is very, this chemistry, but someone knows. Someone knows what's happening. I just see this. Yeah, I think that's a window. It's like a frame. I don't know, but someone sees what's going on. This person's being sneaky. There is a connection here. It's being kept in the wraps under the light of the moon here. So you could, of course, be suspicious about this from someone else, whether it's your partner or someone around you. And you're like, what are you up to? I know you're up to something. What are you up to? And so you're trying to find out what's going on. All right, what's the tower? The tower could be like some sort of rapid information that things just happening quickly and it's like, bam, in your face. Sudden travel is a possibility too. Otherwise, it's just like this influx of news and messages coming your way and it's just like, well, what's happening here? What? All these people contacting me at once, something big's going on. Which is interesting because I felt that you anticipate this happening. So maybe you lay the groundwork, I don't know. This is weird. This is starting to feel like a movie. What can you tell me about the Queen of Pentacles? King of Pentacles. It's your, it's your connection with someone. Some sort of relationship does not have to be romantic. But let's see. Give me an overall for the general, please. Nope. Page of Pentacles. Something's being delivered here. News. Someone wants to see someone. Job offer. Maybe even if you expected it, it's a surprise and it gives you quite a bit of a financial status that was unexpected. Maybe you didn't expect as much and, and that's a surprise to the tower and then things just start rolling really quickly and then take off with the Eight of Wands. That Eight of Wands just seems so intense.
All right, let's get love. High Priestess, there's this energy of secrets. These moons here are coming out. You could also feel really crazy about someone. Moon, lunacy at times. Emotionally connected to someone. Intuition is strong here. Your feelings are strong, but you're holding back. You're being a little bit passive for now until maybe you know more about what's going on. What's the Five of Cups? Why the Five of Cups? Temperance. You could resort to drinking quite a bit. I see her at the table needing to get a drink to maybe like talk her problems out as best as possible. She's about to pour her some more. So there's that vibe. We could also wish that things again were a bit more fair, a bit more balanced. Six of Wands. But you're interested in fighting for something here because you, you have an emotional connection. You have a desire. You want to go for it. You need more time with the High Priestess. Maybe you have to kneel more. Your intuition is kind of telling you, no, it's not right just yet. Find the right balance. Um, make the effort here as well with the Six of Pentacles. And it looks like with the Six of Wands, you will have some victory. So even though you have an upset with the Five of Cups, you're going to be able to overcome that with time and patience. Center card. We have the Son of Wands. He has intention here. He's got goals. He's got thoughts. He's about to take action. Very serious energy too, which is more than likely what you're feeling. Could be messages coming your way as well. This guy, as um, I see him as a page. And he can represent having those uh, intense messages back and forth with another person. They lean towards the side of fun and exciting though. Seeing if I get anything else from this picture. I mean, he's got like lions and whatnot in the background. He's well in control over his environment, as you may feel is the case with you. Now, let's see, we have the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, you got an outcome card of a new opportunity coming your way. That's enticing. It's a very attractive offer that you're feeling scared about. Can you do it? You're not sure. Like she's stuck, stuck. We've seen the Eight of Swords in a variety of positions and different decks, but she's like embedded in whatever this is. I can't even tell. Yeah, she is definitely being held back by something intense and could be herself. And spending a lot of time with those thoughts, afraid of failure, afraid that the time that, you know, you might put into something as attractive as it may be, may not work out. And that could be holding you back. But I'm gonna say that I think that you, despite the fears, you'll probably go for this Ace of Pentacles because the Son of Wands is here. And the Son of Wands is about adventure, excitement. It's it's heated card. It's not one that's gonna sit back and let shit like the Eight of Swords hold it back. You may have taken the time, done your thinking already and then decide to, you know what, let's go for this. On the love side, we have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Well, you got someone wearing a mask, whether it's you or them, the person that you're dealing with, they're holding some sort of mask. They're pretending to be someone nice, fun. Meanwhile, they're creepy. <laughs> they're outside the mask, they got a creepy looking face. And they're holding a sword, so they have some ill intentions here. Not that they're gonna come like hurt you physically, but they're after something. They have a goal here, but they're not looking to tell it to you. And you may be suspicious of that. Someone could be out for your money, like taking advantage of your good nature. And the fact that, for instance, if you're well off and they're not, and they're just, taking advantage of that aspect, something to be cautious about because again, we got that mask wearing energy. Someone could also be pretending that they're better or they're more well off than they actually are. Like in some, I see the possibility of the Nine of Pentacles being a mask. 
where this person is pretending that they've got like this job, they've done this and that and this, and you're like, wow, you're impressive. And in truth, it's not them at all. So something to be cautious about. And the king of pentacles here is like king of his domain financially, his career is well, is, he's well off. He's done his work, he continues to work. His focus may of course be on money as well. And that may be what attracts this person. In some cases that could be what attracts you to someone. The fact that they're appearing financially well off. And I just want to say, just be cautious or at least see if you can find out if that's really the case. And <laughs> they're not hiding some, they're not hiding the fact that maybe their life isn't as glamorous as they're making it seem. There's an energy here too of a person hiding another person. Because the Nine of Pentacles, although not a court card, she is often, you know, a an independent female. She can be that kept woman in some cases, that, that person in the background. There's a physical connection there and it's hidden. You may have your suspicions about it. So let's get some clarification. Let's get the Sun of Wands. The moon and the nine of swords. You got so much happening in that brain of yours. So many thoughts. And it's like being unleashed. Much like the birds are flying out of her head. You got a lot of stuff you want to say, think, or do. And things are getting quite deep with you with the moon. Your, mo your own emotions might find that uh, it's scaring you a bit as well. Get page of wands, the son of wands. You could be thinking about taking action on something here too, and the intensity that you feel is kind of pulling you back. Queen of Pentacles. This could be someone you're looking to communicate with. This could be news about a female that causes you some stress, makes you need to take a step back and go within a bit and think things through. Figure out what you want to do, what you want to say. General. Son of Swords. It almost feels like in some cases you don't want people to know that you have this opportunity. You're afraid of word getting out. Don't know why, but there is that fear that's coming out here. That rhymed. <laughs> um, it could be because you kind of just want to settle into the position first or whatever this is. You're afraid of pressure, being put under pressure by others. You don't want people like watching your every step too. Love. Eight of Pentacles. More financially focused cards in love. So somehow money's connected here and is important. There's some of you that despite some issues in a relationship, or even if you're single and maybe someone's coming to the picture, the King of Pentacles, and you're like, there's some red flags that I feel, but you know what, with the Eight of Pentacles, there's a possibility that you're gonna work through it. And you're gonna see what's there. Again, there's that energy too of someone that works quite a bit and their time is spent elsewhere, so they may be hard to spend, like, get alone time with. Yeah, strong possibility of working on a union here, seeing how it goes, meeting the friends, and just going for it anyway, despite the fact that you may have some warning signs. I would just say find out as much as you can if you have a reason to feel suspicious. <laughs> 